The problem child is back. After falling short against Tommy Fury in his first test against a real boxer, Jake Paul has dusted himself off and will step back into the boxing ring against cult hero and former UFC fighter Nate Diaz on August 5th at American Airlines Arena. After a storied MMA career, Diaz has long waited for the opportunity to box, and Paul is happy to welcome him to the sweet science in the most violent way possible. Who will come out on top? Let's break it down. This is By The Numbers. Jake Paul is 6-1 with four knockouts in his short boxing career. He's 1-0 against NBA players, 1-0 against fellow YouTubers, and 0-1 against a pro boxer. But against former UFC fighters, he's 4-0 with two knockouts. Also, Paul is 6-0 against fighters older than him, and Diaz is 12 years older than Paul. It's not looking great so far for Diaz. In 34 professional MMA fights, Diaz is 21-13. That's not bad, but that's not great either. But MMA is mixed martial arts, so maybe Diaz's strengths aren't the mixed part of MMA and instead are in the striking department. Well, he only has five wins by knockout. Okay, maybe knockouts aren't the most important thing. What about knockdowns? Hmm, uh, Diaz only has four of those in his MMA career, so he's not much of a threat to knock Paul out. Maybe he can outbox him and win a decision. Okay, of his 21 wins, Diaz has won a grand total of four by decision. 19% of his wins were by decision and 24% of his wins come by knockout. That means his other 12 wins came by submission, 57%. Unfortunately, there are no submissions in boxing, so that's not really going to help him there either. At least he doesn't get knocked out. Of his 13 losses, he's only been stopped twice by Jorge Masvidal and Josh Thompson. But Masvidal's win came by doctor stoppage, and Thompson had to kick Diaz in the head to get that knockout. If nothing else, Diaz has proven that he can take a punch. It's a mighty big mountain for Diaz to climb to beat Jake Paul in a boxing match. But if there's one thing that Diaz has done, it's overcome the odds and prove everybody wrong. When Diaz stepped up on short notice to face Conor McGregor at UFC 196, oddsmakers saw McGregor as a nearly 5-1 favorite before Diaz shocked the world and submitted the then UFC featherweight champion in the second round. Jake Paul is about a 3.5 to 1 favorite to beat Diaz, and if the problem child isn't careful, he can find himself on the wrong end of a huge upset. Can Nate Diaz defy the odds once again, or will Jake Paul get back to his winning ways by leaving another mixed martial artist in the dust on August 5th?